Welcome to 10 Intentional Minutes with Janine. I am extremely honored today to have my mom, Nelly Swanepoel, with me. Janine, this is a great honor for me to be with you on your podcast today. You know, the, ro- the roles were always different. And now I'm following the lead. So my goal, lead. <laughs> It is really an honor and it's a privilege. You know, when we grew up, you are for me like what we would define as a global leader. And I could learn so much from you. Even still today, I learn so much from you. I glean, I apply intentionally towards those things. Now, when we grew up, we we were used to a home office, which was really nice for us. This is the thing. We always speak about work-life balance, but something that you taught me was work-life integration. Where did that start for you? You know, when I started to work, I was a teacher and then the children were born and everybody told me, being a teacher, I will have so much time to spend with my family. (laughs) Well, that was really not true because it was only holidays. During the afternoons, we both had to do so many work that there were very little time to have the fun in life. And for me, that was to get a work-life balance. And as we as a family believed, is the moment you need to work on something because it's not balanced, Mm. you may fail at that. Very true. I applied for a different job and I started working from home in the water treatment business. And that was when I realized that work-life integration is possible. Mm. And they were not even COVID at that time. It was just the normal go of flow. Mm. I think it's very important because it allows us to physically and emotionally be present in different areas of our life. Because we are able to intentionally manage our time, who we spend it with and how we spend it, we tend to be more productive at the end of the day. That's right. Because even if I had to do analysis or something at home, I made you part of it. Mm. Yes, it did take me longer, but that was fine because I had the the privilege to spend time with you. Mm. We could have discuss discussions, mm. lots of time. You would have told me what happened at school, that if we're not spending time together, I wouldn't have that detail. Yeah. And that is important for me. And I think also the the life skills that we learned without even knowing we were being taught is how to conduct yourself in a boardroom, how to dress for an interview. You know, things like that, that we, a lot of the times we take for granted, but by integrating everything together, we are able to do that. Like something that I was also very thankful for is the fact that I know some nights you worked late, But it was okay for me because I know when I was playing sports, you were able to be there and watch me. Yeah, that is correct. And that was one of the reasons why I incorporated the work-life integration into the company and closed all the business, the site branches. And we only had the home offices for all the people. Mm. And I expected them to be available to be present in their children and in their family's life Mm. and you know it is so important as I know that you and Joel is doing having a work home life balance Mm. or integration and not Mm. the balance is for all the children to be present and for you to be present in the important moments in their life. So you, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, absolutely. And as the world is also evolving, everything, globalization is becoming a really big thing. And it's so part of everything. And by the way we're doing it, integrating everything, globalization becomes just normal. It is. You know, Janine, what really stands out for me was the fact that all the overseas visitors yeah. that we received yeah. and the agreement with the company was actually for the children and my husband to be part of that yeah. and that was when I was the managing director yeah. how we managed everything so it didn't matter if it was a CEO yeah. of a global 
corporate big company, mm -hmm. one of the Fortune 500 companies. Yes. But my children were there and mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to speak to the people. But I can't remember if you, if you remember <laughs> that um, before they arrived, you always had to find some information from the country they are coming from yeah because that gave you the confidence to talk to the people and the insight and the insight. if i can speak about somebody in particular is mark rana that came to visit from sydney which was such an amazing experience because mark came there and we had a very meaningful conversation about name brands i was maybe end of primary school beginning high school teenager yeah teenager and he could not simply understand why name brands is so important and and we spent all the way from van Abel park to sun city driving through the park actually at Pilansburg talking about him trying to convince me how unimportant name brands are so mark i just want to say thank you for that conversation as today it is really not that important to me anymore and I do see the value of life. But that is the stuff that money can't buy, that experience gives you and the exposure to globalization and to people. That's true. And while you thank Mark now, I think I need to get a thanks as well because you have <laughs> never have an idea how I had to keep my breath <laughs> to stay quiet because my teenage daughter is arguing with one of the global positions and now when I'm back on that I'm so glad that all of you had the privilege to do that yes. and that I could be quiet and give you the the space and the way to do it no absolutely and and the 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 doors that you opened for us through integrating life work family and all of that it's really no words can say thank you for that but i hope that the fruit of our experience and the success in life is a reward to you it is definitely and i want to thank god for mm. give me the insight at that point in time Wisdom. as well as peter yeah. my husband that was working with me to create this environment for the children so peter you're not here today but thank you so much we really mm. appreciate it and we know we were guided by god Absolutely. and i'm so glad and so proud to see today that all my children are doing the same because it is what the Bible is saying, we're going from the, um, help me with that one verse, where it goes from one generation yes. into the next generation. It's exactly what we're and building legacy. We're building legacy and yeah. that is so important. It is. And um, for the families out there, whether you're a business owner, whether you're a mom, whether you're a dad, it is so important, as you can see, to integrate life, work and family. Don't try and find the balance. You're going to work way too hard, but try and integrate all of those things together. And one word, you know, when we did this and we worked from home, there were no COVID. True. We, they were no pressure to succeed in this mm. but we realized that that is the way that you can be present everywhere at the right time at the right place absolutely thanks Janine thank you I'm so much I'm really so proud doing this with you thank you I love you so much you too thanks and thanks everyone for listening this is great and mothers I hope that you can share this with your children as well because it is a legacy moving forward. It is being part of their life, giving them their space, but still be present even as a mother, as a Oma, moving forward in life. <laughs>